contractions are an additional exercise that we would use in conjunction with the elevator breathing. So if you haven't watched the elevator breathing video, please watch it as these will definitely be in the same program as the elevator breathing. And we're going to be using the exact same technique as the elevator breathing and it will be using the same muscles as the elevator breathing. The only difference is the elevator breathing is more about endurance and being able to tune in and hold for a long period of time. Whereas the contractions are about short, sharp engagements of the muscles that the uh, elevator breathing uses. So, same technique as the elevator breathing, where we've got hand on chest, hand on stomach. We're going to do the exact same thing as where we breathe in, inflating our stomach, and then bring in as we exhale our belly button all the way towards our spine. What we're going to do though, instead of going from floor one and try and go all the way to six, which is going to be as far as you can pull back, we're going to go to around floor three, so somewhere in the middle. So we're going to make sure that we come past this neutral state and we're still sucked in a bit, but we're not sucked in the most we can suck in, just halfway. At that point there, what we're going to start doing is slowly, we're going to let short, sharp bursts of exhalations as we contract our stomach. So it's going to look something like this. I'll do 10 contractions so you can see. I'm going to breathe in. Exhale, come to floor three. Contractions. Every single time I breathed out, I tried to contract all of my core. I tried to pull my ribs in towards themselves. I tried to make sure my belly button and everything stayed backwards so I wasn't contracting and pushing out like we were dome through a sit up. We were trying to keep everything in and just clamping down every single time we came into those contractions. So I'll do one from the side and then I'll do one where I lift my shirt up so you can see what's going on with my core. But we'll be doing this for the set amount of reps, sets or time that you've been allocated in your program. Sidewards. Hand on chest, hand on stomach, and then from here I'm going to inflate. I bring back into floor three. And then I go for my 10. What you'll feel is as you tense, your stomach will more than likely uh, come forwards, so it might almost feel like even though when you're sucked in, you're at floor three, as soon as you tense, it might push outwards a little bit. So long as we don't push and dome our stomach forwards and round out, that's no problem. And if you feel like it's coming out too much, potentially pull from floor three a little bit further backwards, so we pull our core in even more to kind of floor four, five or six, and then we can start to tense in there. There becomes a bit of a diminishing returns where if we pull all the way to floor six, it's so pulled in that we can't contract as well. So we just want to make sure that we're far enough back that we don't dome our stomach forwards, but we're also not so far back that we can still get a good bit of tension every time. I'm going to do one now where you can see the stomach contracting. <coughs> so from here, I'm going to breathe in. Breathe out to floor three. Then contract. Notice how every time I contract, I don't, I don't tense my abs, crunching down. I stay nice and tall, and I just squeeze every single time. That will be contractions.